tazama wakiwa nyumbani kwao at the comfort of their home uh, mahali popote ambapo unapokea huduma hii from tunataka kusema ya kwamba wewe ni wa maana sana maishani mwetu na tunajua ya kwamba Bwana atakubariki pia siku ya leo na neno hili litakuwa la kuleta uh, ufufuo katika maisha yako kwa sababu Mungu anaweza mambo yote. Praise the Lord. Uh, this morning I would like us to lead the word of God even from the book of uh, First Samuel, First Samuel 17 uh, 32 verse 32 to 47. Then David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with these Philistines. Uh, and Saul said to David, You are not able to go against these Philistines to fight with him, for you are a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep his father's sheep, and when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock i went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth and when it arose against me i caught it by its bear and struck and killed it your servant has killed both lion and bear and this uncircumcised Philistine 
will be like one of them seeing he has defined the armies of the living God moreover David said the Lord who deliver me from the power of the lion and from the power of the bear he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine and so said to David go and the Lord be with you so so crowed David with his armor and he put a bronze helmet on his hand he also crowed him with a coat of mail even fastened his, his sword to his armor trying to walk for he had not tested them and David said to Saul I cannot walk with this for I have not tested them so David took took them off then he took his staff in his hand and he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook and put them in a shepherd bag in a pouch which he had and his string was in his hand and he drew near to the Philistine. So the Philistine came and began drawing near to David and the man who bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked at looked about and saw David in the in the strength of him for he was only a youth rangry and good looking so the Philistine said to David am I a dog that you come to me with strength and the Philistine cast David by his God and the Philistine said to David come to me and I will give you your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Then David said to the Philistines, to the Philistines, you come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of our hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defined. Praise the Lord. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the old armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wills of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual oaths of wickedness in the every places. Therefore, take up the old armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil days and have, having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having rendered your waist with truth, having put on the breast blessed break of the righteousness and having stood your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the funny guts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit which is the one of God Praying always with all prayers, supplication in the Spirit. Being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Praise the Lord. Shall we pray? Everlasting God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is yet another moment that Lord, you have given unto us as your people, O God, even to hear from you, O King of Kings. I know that this wonderful morning, Jehovah, you are going to activate your power even upon this sanctuary, even upon every person that is viewing us from wherever they are. That Jehovah, King of glory, you will 
bring the level one to your people through me in Jesus name praise the Lord I believe that God is here today in the book of first Samuel tumeweza kusoma ambithi ambayo ni ambithi kila mmoja anaijua na anaifahamu at the Sunday school wanajua hiyo ambithi neno la Bwana inatuambia kwamba majeshi ya Israeli ikaweza kwenda katika mlima wa vita na wakati ambapo walienda katika mlima wa vita neno linasema ya kwamba andui zao walijulikana kama vile the Philistines the bible says that ndugu zake David walikuwa in the battle field ya kwamba inamaanisha kwamba walikuwa among the groups that were fighting ina maana ya kwamba David alikuwa anabaki nyumbani kwa sababu ni katoto kadogo na baba haya majeshi wakaenda ikawa pale walikuwa wanajibishana na andui zao andui alikuwa anaitwa Goliath ambaye alikuwa Philistine every day alikuwa anawadia baridi unajua shetani tactics yake moja ni kukutia baridi ama kukufanya uogope praise the lord alikuwa anatokea anasema nyinyi majeshi wa Israeli nyinyi ni bure birashi hakuna kitu mpo toeni mtu mmoja tu Haje hapa chini tupigane naye. Akinishinda basi tutakuwa your slaves. Na nikimshinda basi nasi tutakuwa 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 slaves when. Siku ya kwanza ikaendelea, siku ya pili, siku ya tatu sijui mwezi ikaisha. Siku moja baba ya Daudi akamwambia nenda ukaone jinsi ambavyo your brothers are doing the battlefield so david obeyed the father and went into the battlefield just to see how they are faring on with the battle when david came into the battlefield akakuta ndio hiyo asubuhi ambayo yule jamaa Goliath alisimama na akasema vile Maandui ma uh, the, the, the Israelites walikuwa badala ya kusonga mbele walikuwa wanarudi nyuma kwa sababu ya uoga Neno litatuambia kwamba Daudi akaenda akasaka akaambia majeshi ya kwamba hii aibu nitaiondoa amuuliza wewe kijana mdogo unasema utaondoa hii aibu namna gani even you don't have experience of the battlefield you are just a baby how then can you go to fight with this giant even insisted that I will fight this thing out of the way of God's army praise the lord asubuhi ya leo mpendwa ningetaka kukuambia kwamba when you trust in the lord things can happen even you yourself ustuke ukue hauna la kusema sababu Mungu ametenda. Daudi akaenda katika vita, akachukua mawe, akachukua ile string yake na akaanza kutembea towards the enemy with the power of God. So 
know the power of men. With the power of God. Wakati ambapo misingi ya dunia itatikizwa. Wewe kama mkristo utakuwa wapi? Ama utakuwa kama wamajeshi wa Israeli ambao walikuwa wanarudi nyuma badala ya wasonge mbele walikuwa wanarudi nyuma. Bwana asifiwe. What is happening in the world that we are living today? Some Christians instead of going forward instead of facing the devil and on collision they are retreating. We tunaingiwa na baridi na tunarudi nyuma. Aya basi leo I would like us to speak on the steps that a Christian must take in order to secure his or her health. Praise the Lord. And the first step is tapping from uh, or tapping the source of strength from the source one as it feels tapping the strength that we need to move forward from the source who is Jesus Christ you know many a times we as Christians we do not know the position that we are in the things that we can be able to do the things that can happen through you and today i would like you to understand that you have to connect yourself from the source you have to connect yourself from the source in the book of ephesians where we have learned we have seen the story all the passing that apostle Paul wrote himself to the church of Ephesus. And I'll give you a brief story of what was happening in Ephesus. Ephesus was a city whereby there was the worship of a goddess known as Diana. So there, wale wa Kristo ambao waliokoka wakati ule walikuwa na changamoto kubwa sana. Kwa sababu waabudu wa sanamu huko, miungu ya Diana iko, sasa walikuwa confused. Walikuwa wanashindwa na ili na huyu Yesu ambaye tunaambiwa kweli anaweza Tunaambiwa ya kwamba wakati ambapo Apostle Paul alienda pale aliwahubilia injili ya Kristo aliyekufa na akakufuka Kristo ambaye hayuko kaburini tena na akawaelezea ya kwamba Kristo anazo nguvu ambazo hata Diana angepata We have to know that our strength comes only from the Lord that the, that, that this strength will help us to fight the enemy ambaye ni shetani Wakati ambapo uko katika shinda ndugu yangu na nanda yangu unafaa kumtazama Mungu lakini si mwanadamu. Mungu anaweza kufanyia kitu ambacho mwanadamu hawezi kukufanyia. Mwanadamu anaweza kutazama tu kwa macho ya mnyama na damu aseme that you are good for nothing. That you are going nowhere. That hata hiyo kanta yake itamuua. That hata hiyo corona itamuua. That hata huyu aende mbali. The other thing in that one you can see it in verse 11 of Ephesians 
as 11 of Ephesians is helping us to see on how we can connect to this soul. The other thing that you, the other step as a Christian that you have to, uh, to, to take is to identify the enemy. One as a few. You have to identify the enemy that you are fighting. You have to know the enemy. You have to know the strategies that the enemy uses. You have to know the tactics that the enemy is using. In Ephesians 12 and 13, we can see when you are approaching the enemy, you have to gather some intelligence. You have to know as you have to have a certain wisdom in order to overcome this enemy. And this is why I'm saying that we have to identify our enemy. And after identifying this enemy, you will be able to have the light weapons to fight him. The light weapons to fight him. The dandy step that you have to take is taking the belt of truth. Taking the belt of truth. The belt of truth helps us as Christians to earn the sword Unajua belt inashikilia mfuto inashikilia ukiwa katika vita pia inashikilia upanga furai aso Ni vizuri utoe kwamba umejifunga hiyo mshipi ya ukweli katika maisha yako Umejifunga mshipi ambayo you are the soul of truth oh. This world of truth will help us to bring the, the enemy down and the soul that I'm speaking about here today is the word of God. That the word of God should be in you so that even when the enemy will approach you you will be able to conquer him you remember Jesus when the devil took him so that he can help him Jesus was able to put the word of God this means that we should also be doers of the word of God. You should be a doer of the word of God. If the word of God says that you have to face this way, face that. If the word of God says pray, you must pray. If the word of God says don't do this, why should you do it? The word of God is facing you. If the word of God says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, do that. One has a few. So, watch on your integrity and character also. One has a few. So that we may be able to activate. The power of God in our life. The other thing that, the other step that you have to take, it is the priest praise of righteousness. It means that the priest praise of righteousness will protect you from being armed or injured or your arts will be protected from being injured 
from the arrows of the devil. One as it is. And uh, we can see that we as believers this means that you have to guard your eye. The other step that you have to take is to put on the shoe of the gospel of peace. Put on the shoe of the gospel of peace. One as it is. If you read a mwaka who about the guana and the ya corona, the guana. Mambo imekuwa mengi katika maisha ya mwanadamu. Na wewe umeokoka kama Mkristo. Umechukua hatua ya kuhubiria mtu mwingine. Na kumhubiria umlete kanisani. Ama umechukua hatua ya kuombea mtu mwingine. Umechukua hatua ama umebaa viatu ya injiri ambayo ni safi. Unajua hiyo inamaanisha ya kwamba wakati uliokoka you are green to the terms and conditions of heaven. That you will also preach the gospel to others. That you will also pray to others. That you will also call others to Christ Jesus. The other thing that the other step that you have to take it is the shield of faith. In verse 16 of Ephesians 10, Ephesians 6, you will see that. That you have to have faith. And faith here is the means of being the word of God. What the word of God says, you have to obey it. You can read in the book of Romans 10, 17, 2 Timothy 4, 2, and you will see when you obey the word of God, what will happen. The other step that you have to take it is the helmet of salvation. Helmet of salvation. Helmet, this is what you have helmet ni nini. Helmet ni ile kofia mtu anavaa wakati ambapo anaendesha pikipiki wakati ambapo unaenda katika vita kuna hiyo helmet ambayo wanavaa ili kuzuilia ubongo wako ama kichwa chako kisiu kisiumie kutokana na na arrows of the devil how then can we overcome these things that the devil brings along our life by Walking in the renewal of our strength day by day. Walking in the renewal of our strength, which comes from Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Praise the Lord. The other thing that you have to have is the sword of the Spirit. And this is so important in your life. That this sword that I told you that is able to, uh, when you are struggling with the enemy, you will be able to bring him down, is very essential for the survival of a Christian. God's one is our sword. The only weapon that we can use regularly in order to become proficient users. One as it is. The only thing that you can use day by day, it is the word of God. The soul of the spirit. Last, lastly, let me say that you have to be prayerful. And not only praying. Unajua kuna ile maombi ya chakula 
Baba barikini chakula tukikula kwe nzuri ya sijui ukikula ibariki mwingine sio maombi na unajua kuna wakristo wanaishi kwa hiyo Paul anawaambia aje hapo chini verse 18 anawaambia kwamba pray always in all occasions and you should pray in the spirit This is where the church of God needs patience. This is where the church of God needs revival meetings. This is where the church of God needs prayer meetings, not preaching meetings. When we pray, great things will happen. When we pray, we will be able to activate the power of God to come down in our midst. Cripples will walk. Sick people will get healed. Because when we pray, things will happen in the spiritual realm. We must beware of the ways of the devil, which means his strategies, devices, and snares. He is the ruler of darkness. But through the power of Jesus Christ, we can defeat him. We can defeat the devil. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word because I have brought it the way you wanted it to be. Release to your people. And I believe that today, oh God, this word will be activated in the life of these people and it will have impact in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, be magnified, be lifted because there is none of you. In Jesus' name, we do pray and give thanks. Shalom, shalom. Lord, in the name of Jesus, as those that are here and those as, as, as that are outside there, dear Lord, my Father, who are intending to give, dear Lord, my Father, as they use those numbers on the screen, my God, those who are far, my God, may you open doors, may you Jehovah God crush every kind of enemy. Dear Lord, as they, they give, may you guard their territories, my God of, of, of operations, in the name of the Lord, that they may have victory, my God, in their life. I bless and I thank you, Lord. I exalt your name. I glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. We worship and we thank you for who you are in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all of us say, Amen. And all of us say, Let's put our hands together for Jesus as we come uh, here to give. May the Lord God bless you. Yes, cheerful givers. Holy Makasheka. You are opening doors that you have never, never known. In the name of Jesus Christ, Robo Sheka, God has given you wonderful ideas, wonderful revelations. Yes, as you give, may the Lord open greater doors for you. Holy Makasheka, wonderful revelations, wonderful ideas to be able to make finances, to be able to grow spiritually for the glory and honor of the Lord. May the Lord continue to lift you in a special, in a gracious way. Because our God is gracious. May the Lord continue to lift you. May the Lord continue to bless you. May the Lord continue to love you. May the Lord continue to do you greater things. May the Lord continue to make sure that you are a victorious woman. You are a victorious man. Because he has given us grace to live a life of the living. May the Lord do greater things to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord do you greater things because he is a gracious God. Can we stand up now? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord lift you. May the Lord do you good. May the Lord continue to do you uh, marvelous for his own glory. May he be with you now and forevermore. Let's continue to pray for our...